Well, today a community joined family, friends, and fellow officers from across the state today to say goodbye to a fallen Little River Academy police chief, Lee Dixon. Today's ceremonies were all about honoring his life and his service to the community. KAG's HD News reporter Emily Collins shows us a look at today's services. Chief Lee Dixon was what many call a professional lawman. We lost a great man. His integrity and his morals were impeccable. He cared about the community he served and he gave his all for his friends and family in Little River Academy. A lot of tears were broke loose there. Sean Moore has known Dixon for years. The two met when the police chief was going out for Temple's Masonic Lodge. He was a stand up guy. I don't think he'd meet anybody that uh, didn't always have a smile on their face and, and a positive note. Dixon was always known for his smile and his passion for animals. He always talked to me about his horses. I don't know how that always ended up in a conversation we had. Little River Academy Fire Chief David Borders was one of Dixon's closest friends. They shared a lot of stories and a lot of good laughs. Mayor Ronnie White says Dixon had an unmatchable sense of humor. We've had a lot of memories with him, and, you know, over the years. Me and him was always ragging each other about something. And no amount of rain was going to stop the people of Little River Academy from gathering to say their final goodbyes. It's like losing a neighbor. Whether you know them or not, they're here, and they're here for you. Texas is huge, and it came together today in this little town of Little River Academy to show their support. And as the rain poured, families stood with their hands over their hearts, watching the two-mile procession make its way to Belton for a final ceremony. Our hearts go out to the city of Little River. Um, we're here to help any kind of way we can. And as officers surrounded his family, they watched his flag-draped casket, followed by a 21-gun salute and a final call. Just be strong. Uh, we'll go on and we'll carry on where he left off. And through the tears, Chief Dixon's fellow officers and community celebrated his life, a celebration that will forever continue. Just the support from the following uh, towns that came to honor Lee is this proud, it's a statement that Academy is not alone and will never be alone. Very sad day in Bell County. Well, that was Emily Collins reporting. Dixon spent years in law enforcement. He worked for the Belton Police Department and the Milam County Sheriff before coming back to Little River Academy about a month ago.